What's up you guys? It's Joelle and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Um, my voice might be a little quiet right now. I just woke up so it's a little hoarse. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day um, and enjoying Vlogmas. So for today's Noggin Nugget, I'm answering a question that I got regarding um, relationships and long distance and stuff like that. So I thought I would just answer some of the common questions that I get. I don't know exactly who's asked all of them at this point. I kind of like scroll through and read and I comment, I should respond to that in a Q&A. So here I am finally talking about it. This is a very informal video, but for those of you guys who've been following me for a while, you know that I am in a long distance relationship. My boyfriend's name is Sean. We met at Dartmouth. One of the questions that I got actually from maybe Kayla is, how did you and Sean get together? So this is always a kind of funny story. We met, my freshman fall at like the very very end through a christian fellowship that both of us were very minimally involved with um like none of us really showed up stuff so that's why we never met earlier we met like literally the last event of the year cooking for a thanksgiving dinner and he was friends with my uga and they were tight and my uga was one of my best friends at the time we like did homework together and just kind of chatted that day but after that never really like hung out or talked much Sean was also in a relationship at that time, so obviously neither of us were thinking about anything like that. Um, but he was off campus over the winter, and one of the things that we had talked about when we, me, Patrick, my UGA, and Sean were all studying together was Justin Bieber's new album. It was right when Purpose came out, I think, and we were like, dude, Love Yourself is such a good song. And none of us were like huge Bieber fans, but we were like, this is really cool. So. Had a little group chat over the winter. The three of us would send like covers or videos or whatever of the song. Um, so then when Sean came back in the spring, my freshman spring, again, we didn't really talk. And when we saw each other, we were like, I don't think she really remem remembers me or I don't think he really remembers me. So we didn't say hi for a super long time, but we had a really good mutual friend, Dari, who had people hang out like in his room and stuff. So then we were like, okay, we need to like, acknowledge each other. Yeah, I guess it was kind of like end of the spring, like senior week before graduation that we started talking more. Sean was no longer in a relationship at this point, but again, neither of us were like thinking like, oh yeah, like let's date. So we stayed talking and stuff over the summer, just as friends, but I did visit him in New York because I was there for my internship for like a week and then he was working there. So we met up one night really randomly um, just to get like papinsu at some place in Koreatown. Uh, and that was really fun. That's when I was kind of like, hmm, like he might kind of like it. He's kind of cute, you know? But he wasn't thinking anything at that point. And then coming back for school sophomore year in the fall, we were both there early for UGA training and we were just hanging out a lot. There weren't a whole lot of other people on campus. So it was like no other options. But I just realized, I think, then, like, wow, I really enjoy this person's company. We have such weird and random conversations, and it's always really funny and really chill and enjoyable. From talking to him, I knew what kind of person he was, and I really admired the kind of person he was. And I hadn't met anyone like him. It took me a while, but I eventually confessed to myself that I liked him. So that was when things started actually being like, okay, we're interested in each other. <sighs> so it was me who brought it up the first time. We were just hanging out one night, and I was like, Hey, I just kind of dropped the bomb like, yeah, so what would you say if I said I might like you? And he was like, is this you telling me that you like me? And I was like, well, depends on your answer, but technically yes. And so we established that we both liked each other, but he wasn't sure if he wanted to date. So he left me for a week hanging before like saying anything. And at the end of that week, he was like, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea for us to date. And I was like, okay, cool. That's awesome. Um, and we were pretty good friends at this point and we had like a pretty tight knit friend group and like they were kind of like what's going on with you and sean and joelle we were able to just be friends though totally playing ourselves like definitely still like we're interested in each other but we're like no it's just friends one of those things it's a terrible unhealthy place to be don't do that but after like a month of that he eventually was like you know i actually would you be down to date and girls do not ever just be like oh yeah it's sure it's fine yeah that sounds great no i was like um what made you change your mind after a month i don't want to just dive into something not knowing that you could just change your mind at any second but his answer was really sweet actually it was like the way that i had talked to a friend giving her advice when she was like crying about um an ex and stuff he was like i really just like saw how mature you are and i think that's like really special and i respect it a lot so it made me realize that like how much i liked you 
So to me, that was a sufficient answer. That was a very long story of how we got together. Kayla also asked, um, how do you pursue a godly relationship? And this is a question I think I get a lot just because, oh, you're in ministry school, you talk about God a lot, but that really impacts a lot of relationships. <laughs> godly relationship starts with the two people individually. You can't have a godly relationship if you guys aren't pursuing God on your own, like personally. So very big decision as to who you are going to date. But for me, it's really easy since I'm here in this environment that I'm like, yeah, I wanna be like really pure and holy. And then I'm just really lucky that Sean is a super like good guy with a lot of integrity and a lot of moral values where I'm like, hey, really wanna establish like these boundaries in this way, or I think it's really important that we do this together. And Sean is also Christian. That's like, that's how we met. But just like communicating really well and like, me being really honest with like how I feel about what we're doing, where we're at and stuff like that. And he's just the most amazing person and being okay at my boundaries um, and him wanting to establish good, safe, holy boundaries as well like he sees the value in it too like every now and then like when we talk about it what i say is like i always want to have our relationship be something that i can put before god and be proud of so that requires things like sacrificing what a lot of normal relationships look like nowadays especially in college which is i mean number one just like having sex all the time like i don't feel like that's how god wants me to steward my relationship so i'm like okay i'm not gonna do that it's also in the bible it was oh it's kind of scary like navigating okay like I have pretty high standards for myself with relationships and I'm worried that whoever I date won't also have those but Sean has been so awesome and just like blowing my expectations of that so that's been really cool um, and I'm really thankful for that but yeah it definitely started with both of us just being secure in like who we were and what we wanted and knowing that like we really valued the relationship it wasn't just like for fun or whatever it was because we both really like cared about each other and want each other in our lives so that kind of leads into another question that i've gotten a lot which is like how to maintain like a pure relationship and that one is always like boundaries like you have to know what you're doing before you're in that situation <clears throat> because if you're making this decision in this situation you're so much more likely to make the wrong decision i've already decided like a long time ago i don't want to have sex before i get married because I understand like spiritually the principles behind it. You really need to have a backbone for everything you believe. If you are gonna set a boundary here, why are you setting it there and what makes it okay? Is it arbitrary? Is it because you decided it or is it because it's based off of a foundation of what you believe? And for me, like setting, I don't wanna have sex before I'm married is because I understand the principle of like what sex is and why God gave it to us and that it's a gift and it's something that needs to be like stewarded and cherished and how when it's abused and used outside the proper context for which it was made it can like destroy us but when it is used in the proper way for intimacy between a husband and wife it is like the most beautiful amazing thing ever that god was like yeah that's exactly what i wanted and i wanted people to have this and i wanted people to enjoy it like that's why he made it enjoyable so that has been a lot of like what my process has been in figuring out like yeah why would i wait there's a lot of reasons not to so i needed to have a lot of good reasons as to why i honestly will probably make a whole long video on why i've decided to wait till marriage because it is a really like it is a topic that i know for a lot of people requires a lot of deep exploration and understanding because it is a pretty big decision so that's just me though and then lastly a really common question i get is about long distance like just how do you make long distance work like what are tips for long distance and for that i would probably say the biggest things are a like establishing why you're continuing in long distance before you go into long distance so talking about it like okay what do we want in the long term why are we doing this because you don't go into long distance just for fun like you go into long distance if you're like there for the long haul like if you are willing to like sacrifice other things for the sake of maintaining a relationship it's not as fun to like sometimes stay in or sometimes be like okay i'm gonna set aside this time to like skype or call or whatever um i still find it fun like i still have no problem with it but you know for some people that's a really big sacrifice um so know why you're doing it before you start doing it because don't go into it if you don't have the right heart behind it and then second i would say just like communication all the time um to me like a huge love language is effort like when someone makes effort just to call or text or even snapchat like i love getting snapchats from sean like it makes me so happy that yeah you guys are on the same page in terms of what you expect and what you're 
able to provide for each other in terms of communication and just taking time to learn like okay what are ways that i can express my love and affection in a non-physical way which is honestly i wish more couples did this because when you're living in the same place sometimes people put more emphasis on the physical part than the emotional part and then things start getting like out of whack but for a long distance relationship it, you really only have the emotional part of supporting each other and being there for a relationship so it's been very interesting but also really cool to see like oh well, yeah our relationship is so strong without even being in the same place so that's really like comforting to me and i think just constantly checking in on each other like hey like how are you doing like where are you at being aware of how you guys are changing sean and i talk about this a lot just given that like I'm at ministry school, I'm learning all about Jesus and stuff, and that is my day-to-day -day life. Whereas he is a working man, he's living in a completely different city, though the same coast, thank God. Yeah, his priorities are just really different. So we talk a lot about just like, okay, where are we? Where are we going? And like, what do we want together? And what are we willing to almost sacrifice for each other? That's a conversation that I think is super important. It's kind of hard and scary to have like, I've had, you know, definitely emotional ups and downs, like trying to think about what I do want with our relationship. It is a great and healthy relationship, but it doesn't mean that everything's always like super easy and fun. It does take a lot of thought and prayer. Just be like, Im, is this the right thing? And like, is this a good thing? And where do we go from here? But despite all of that, I'm still very comfortable with where we're at, which is why I'm making this video is because I feel very solid with our relationships despite it being over a year now and most of that being in long distance but yeah so i hope that was helpful just answering some of those frequently asked questions that um, i've gotten about relationships and long distance uh, if you guys have any more if there's anything you want me to clarify on feel free to leave a comment down below because i kind of just talked didn't really plan but yeah i hope that my answer still made sense and stuff like that. Uh, I hope this can be helpful for any of you guys who are dealing with relationships or Christian relationships or long distance relationships and just what that looks like and what it can look like. Obviously no two relationships look the same so don't use my relationship as a model for your relationship but foundational principles I feel like they stay the same. And now let's get on into the vlog. What's up you guys? It's Joelle. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. I got all ready for my day in gym clothes because I thought I was going to go to the gym after this arts on stage meeting that I have but I'm definitely not going to the gym right now. I'll probably go in the afternoon. I have a meeting at like eight and it's for arts on stage because I'm painting on stage during worship today. You guys might have seen it in some of my previous videos, but Bethel is really just super artsy. They promote the arts in every way. Like they have dance on stage during worship. They have painters on stage during worship because they're like, yeah, we're gonna use our art to glorify God and that sort of thing. And also they really heavily believe that like when you create art, but like with influences of the Holy Spirit. It has power to bring breakthrough and revelation and um, there's something just like really awesome about emulating like God's beauty and stuff like that. So I think it's really cool that they value artists so much. Um, I think it's just really interesting. I'd never seen that before, before coming to Bethel. Like I'd heard of prophetic art or whatever, um, but I never really saw art as like a form of worship before. I think that's really cool. And I've been wanting to practice painting more. I haven't painted for, years especially in front of people so it'll be quite interesting how this goes but we'll see i think it'll be fine i'm not super nervous but it is like hmm, 1400 people are gonna be watching you but at the end of the day they're not focused on me they're focusing on like their worship at the time so that's what i need to do it'll be good i'm excited it is freaking cold my gosh i did not know how cold redding got but man you guys got out of my car this morning and it was 35 degrees no, that's like nothing to you East Coast people because I know Hanover is probably like negative 35 right now, but oh, I was not ready. I'm just wearing my like leggings, workout clothes, and it was so cold. So just finished the meeting. Um, so I'm going back home for a little bit and then I have core group at 11.30. So just kind of going in and out of home, which is why I didn't go to the gym this morning, but I'll probably just go in the afternoon after school today because I want to get like an actual workout since next week is break and I'm gonna be like at home eating a ton of good food I really need to actually exercise <laughs> this week and fun I did finish the body boss method program last week it was week 12 which was really dope I really liked it and I think it worked really well but um, it was all like high intensity interval workouts and I kind of just miss like straight cardio. I actually really like just running. Oh, there's a shadow on my face. That's when I watch all my YouTube videos and can just chill on the treadmill. Not, well, chill on the treadmill. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing today. Yeah, but we'll see. 
Do you think I need anything? I need to paint on stage. Worship team's there. There's Taylor and Kayla, they're awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is the backstage. I'm a little nervous. I have no idea what I'm doing. scary not gonna lie I was like I don't know what I'm doing I'm not really a painter but like I like to paint so that's why I'm doing this um, and I had an idea for what I wanted to do but it was sort of just like really weird and surrealist but that's kind of just like I like stuff like that so that's what I went for very different from you know the typical like dove or lion or Jesus that's often painted but I was like, you know what, it's chill. A lot of really sweet people and friends came up to me after were like, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Like, let me just commend you on that. So that's always like really nice and encouraging to hear. Now that I am free for the day, uh, I don't have anything tonight. I'm just going to the gym uh, and going to enjoy myself and probably do some homework. Look at how beautiful that Reading Horizon is. Oh, the mountains are so pretty. solid workout. The gym was quite busy so I didn't get to use all the machines that I wanted to use but I'm now at the mall. It's Elizabeth's birthday this weekend right before we all leave for break so I'm trying to find her a little gift. Probably get something from Ulta. I'm not sure. We're gonna see. We're just gonna see what they have. Oh little kids with their bells. Oh, are they jingle? Ulta. Oh my gosh what is this? Oh it's so soft. Don't have enough money for all of those. You know, I would love to get them for my friends. Oh my gosh, you guys. I spent so long in Ulta trying to figure out what to get. But I finally decided on a gift. Yeah, I'm just gonna head home. I'm so tired and sweaty and hungry that I'm really excited to just go eat some food. Super hungry, so I made myself some food. I'm having a salad. And then on the other hand, I'm having some shin ramen, which obviously, you know, balances out because ramen and salad is a net zero. So uh, the unhealthy ramen and the healthier salad, uh, I think it's... Pretty good pairing. So this is just spring greens with tomato, bell pepper, mozzarella, and some corn with some balsamic vinegar. So good. And then in my ramen, added some egg and some corn. It's spiced up a little bit. <laughs> Hello. Lydia and Brie are obviously here. I'm trying to like hold them, you know? There, they, there oh, it is. Crap. Chapter 13 is so long. They're finishing the homework that we have to do tomorrow. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> it's reading. It's the book. You don't like. It's a good book. Would recommend. It's on Goodreads. Follow me on Goodreads. Just kidding, don't. Oh, yeah, we're making more cookies. We had cookies in the last vlog. Now we're making That's more cookies. We already ate all the ones that we made yesterday, too. So it's like. They're only like as big as. They're like that big. It's like one bite. You could eat like five and be one cookie. Just kidding. Probably not a good idea. But Definitely you know, you get my point. I'm exporting Vlogmas Day 10. Look at that face that I'm making. Is this gonna focus? Do you wanna focus? The answer is no, it doesn't wanna focus. Okay, so we'll just have to watch the vlog. Working hard or hardly working? Definitely hardly working. <laughs> Two chapters. Oh. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Cookies. Oh, that is gross. No. <laughs> 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 
I thought I was gonna burp, but Hannah was lame. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> Disappointment. Didn't deliver. It did not. Deliver. This has been a, quite a long vlog uh, in contrast to the previous days. So I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit more content for me, a little more of an interesting day, as well as answering your questions about relationships and long distance and all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If, if you guys have not yet subscribed and joined the J team, you can do that down below and turn on bell notifications so you get a little notification every time I upload and I'm live streaming. And again, if you like to see any more bits of my life that are not in the vlog or after vlogmas ends you can follow me on my social medias those are always linked down below and just thrown right here for you to follow at your convenience thank you guys again so much for watching i love you jesus loves you and i will see you in the next one peace